Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you my workflow for editing a portrait in Lightroom. We post new videos and resources every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media to get notified of new posts. Also visit newlayer.com for some freebies and sign up for the email list for special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. So here's the before image and here's the after, and I'm gonna take you through my workflow and the order that I do things to process a portrait like this. New Layer members can download this raw photo in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can apply the things that you learn in this tutorial to images of your own. So I'm gonna come back to the before image and hide these thumbnails. And the first thing that I like to do is get the overall exposure close to where I want. So I'm gonna come over and just increase the exposure a little bit because this image is a little bit dark. And then I'm gonna increase the temperature because I want this image to look a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna drag that over pretty drastically to about 8,500. And there's a little bit too much magenta to my eye, so I'm gonna take that tint down about five from 25 to about 20. And that's a pretty good starting point. Now I'm gonna add some contrast to this, so I'm gonna come down to my white slider and increase the whites. Somewhere around 45. And that's gonna brighten up just the whites in my image. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the blacks, but bring those down. Somewhere around negative 25. Next, I'll come down to everyone's favorite sliders and increase the texture and the clarity. So I'm gonna increase the texture to about 25 and do the same with the clarity. And that just adds a little more local contrast to our image. And the easier way to explain it is it just makes the image pop. One of my favorite parts of this image is the color palette between the blue, his skin, and the green in the reflection of the glass. So I'm gonna enhance that just by taking the vibrance and the saturation up to five. Next, I'm gonna come over and create a radial filter and I'm gonna use this to pull attention to our subject. So I'm gonna click and drag to make a selection around my subject. And I wanna set the exposure somewhere around 0.5 is good. And you wanna make sure you have invert checked. If your exposure change is affecting the outside of your mask, you wanna hit that invert button. And what that'll do is brighten only inside that circle and feather it out. That way it brings more attention to the subject without it being obvious that you brighten just that part of the image. So I'll click that again to close that. Next, I'm gonna add a little more vignette to this image. So I'm gonna come down to the effects panel and I'm gonna bring the vignette down somewhere around negative 20. And I want the vignette to reach a little farther into my image. So I'm gonna change the midpoint to about 40. Next, I'll come into my calibration panel. And not a lot of people use this panel, but it's a good way to get slight color shifts, which can add a lot to your photos. So I'll come to the red primary hue slider, and I'm gonna shift the red channel slightly towards orange. And that'll affect mostly the skin. So I'll increase that just a little bit to around 15. And then I'm gonna come down to the blue primary hue slider and shift that to the left. So if you see if I take it all the way over, it adds a really strong brown or red and blue effect, which looks really cool, but it's really strong. So I'm gonna take that down to about negative 15. That all looks pretty good, but I think I'm gonna come back into my radial filter. So I'm gonna click the radial filter icon and then click this little button to reopen the one I previously made. And I think I'll increase the exposure a little bit more. Somewhere around one is pretty good. Sometimes you can't go quite that high because it becomes more obvious that you made that change. But in this case, I think it serves the image well. So again, here's the before and the after. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below and let me know what you want to learn next. Your feedback helps us create new content. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.